What I want to show you is this pigmentation. It's a little hyperpigmented, maybe you can say a little bit reddish on the edges. This is called Acanthosis nigricans. And this is not what he came for, but it's a very important sign about the health of the body. Usually this Acanthosis nigricans is found in young people due to elevated insulin growth factor. When you have elevated sugar, the body is trying to store it. And if it cannot store it inside the usual places, which is the fat storage places or the liver, it starts trying to store it in other places. And this receptors for the growth factor can be found in other locations like in the skin or in other organs. And when it goes there, it's not only pushing, trying to push the fat inside, but it also stimulates the growth of the cell. And so what happens, the skin becomes a little thicker. Kind of like if you rub the skin, you see it's becoming a little more thicker, darker pigment. The same thing happens in the armpits where there is friction. So anywhere where there is friction, you can develop skin tags and you can develop this acatose nigricans. It's a very early sign. Even if you do the blood test, you may not find that there is extra sugar on the red blood cells. So the hemoglobin A1C, the glycosylated red blood cells may not be elevated. Maybe with the normal, you'll say, oh, everything is fine. No, it's already starting to glycosylate, already starting to try to force feed this glycogen, this, this sugar that is stored as glycogen in the skin and therefore it causes the skin to become thicker and the skin packs to form. That is what, uh, something that you need to um, uh, take care of and um, pay attention to. Otherwise, if you don't handle it when there is the sugar spikes, eventually this will become to a chronic problem that will cause not only problems that you see the early signs in the skin, but also in the heart, in the arteries and in other organs. So when, when the person is young, this handsome gentleman is very young, he'll be able to reverse everything with proper diet, exercise, and other ways to remove that excess sugars. But if it's not done on time, the process downfield is atherosclerosis, and, and unfortunately, elevated sugars and insulin growth factors have also increased, have been shown to increase the risk of gut forbid cancers. So if we want to avoid that, one of the things we need to do is try to avoid the processed food, avoid those uh, sugars as much as we can and increase the use of the, of the um, sugar that we take in through exercise.